All right, Pisces, what's up? I'm here to do a collective reading for you guys. This can be for Pisces placement, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. All right. Everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. <laughs> Let's see. What energies are surrounding Pisces, please, for the next 48 hours? It's for the next 48 hours, please, going into the weekend. What energies are surrounding Pisces, please? Three cards. So we have the rider coming out. There could be a message coming towards you. Somebody may be coming towards you um, wanting to communicate or sending you some type of message, communication, document as well. This could be paperwork. Roses. Ooh. Or tulips. I don't even know. <laughs> okay. Um, this could be a message of love. All right. Give me one more, please. The hourglass. Somebody is looking into something. And again, the owls. So messages. Let's see. Wise advice as well. Let's get a few cards from. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was close. Let's get a few cards from the Kipper deck. So we have house coming out in the reverse. Hmm. My deck is in the upright. All right, three more. Judication, pathway, something maybe going on in court. One more, please. Or maybe, all right. And marriage in the reverse. Ooh, shit. And man in despair. So let's see, number one with the rider. We have, I am always bringing news. I am always bringing news. Look around me to see what it includes. I might be coming to visit or bringing you some changes. I am fast and always on the move. If you see a negative card close by, you will probably not enjoy the reply. So there is the house in reverse. So there could be a message about a house. Um, somebody may be moving out. Somebody may be losing a house due to a marriage that has ended as well because we have this man in despair and marriage in the reverse over here. All right, so we get number nine uh, with these. What are these lilies actually? Flowers, okay. Beauty and happy. Beauty and a happy face is what I bring. I am the gift that warms your heart. I am the recovery from your well-being, no matter what card is before me, I will always change it positively. So whatever this, okay, that's great. So we have the writer before that. So whatever this message or this news is, it could be about a house, but it's going to bring a happy. It's going to be a happy message because that's what it says, right? No matter what card is before me, I will always change it positively. So if this house is in the reverse, somebody may be relocating, but this is a positive relocation. This is a positive move. A positive message about a news or about a news. Positive news about a move. Positive news about a move. Why does that seem hard to say? I don't know. Number 44. Okay. All right. magnifying glass. I am the card that suggests you take a closer look or two. If you did not get clarity from an earlier view, I can provide more focus and a perceptive that is new. Okay, so somebody may need to take a closer look at something here. Review all documents carefully, okay? Um, wise choices, elder advice is also here. Um, the owls, the owls card indicates communication, but usually of less frivolous nature. Owls mm, may be sharing their wisdom or urging you to listen to what the elders learned or friends may have to say. 
Owls may also be telling you to look for important signs around you. Okay, so pay attention to signs and synchronicities. We have number 44. I feel like your angels are trying to speak to you or they're trying to tell you something, even spirit animals. Okay, something from the 5D is trying to send you a message here. Pay attention. You may need to take a deeper look or a closer look at something. And this may involve, you know, some type of a commitment, a contract, some type of legal documents as well. This may also have to do with like the direction you're going, the path you're going down. Marriage in the reverse. Two different things. This could come from somebody who is divorced or unmarried. Or this could be um, just, you know, ask your friends or people you can trust about a situation. Ask God as well, because on the bottom of the deck, we have um, the cross, number 36. Let's read it. Uh, we never get this card, so let's see. The cross. I am the bringer of grief, sadness, burdens, or ordeals. Pain and suffering and guilt is the area of my expertise. I claim weeping tears and limitations and ask for prayers and supplications, whatever. I am a happy card. When happy cards come at my right, then you shouldn't experience too much fright. So, again, I feel like there could be a... Hmm. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting... If this is like some type of an inheritance over somebody's death, all right, um... Somebody may have been expecting like a house out of a marriage and that has ended. There could be something going on in court. Spirit is saying, urging somebody to take a closer look, get all the facts about a situation. Somebody here may not, you know, somebody may be in despair financially. You may be soon coming to find this information out or this is you. All right, let's elaborate, shall we? Spirit, angels, guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome. Please clarify this number one, this rider card for Pisces. Keep in mind, these energies can be something going on around you. This could be you immediate, you know, in your immediate situation. So... Let's see, what is this message, this writer card coming towards Pisces? The Wheel of Fortune. So this could be some type of good news, good luck. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus energy is here. Um, this, this is something that's faded. Tell me more. The Ten of Swords in the reverse. So something that ended in the past is not over. Oh, shit. Really? Something that ended in the past is not over. Something that ended painfully, I just heard brutally. Damn. The will in the upright could talk about a cycle still being open. All right. Um, could also talk about a cycle closing, but something here is faded. Something was, what? Tell me more. One more. Could have a message coming in from a fixed sign who betrayed you in the past. All right, three of wands. Somebody here is waiting for their ships to come in. What are they waiting on, spirit? What are they waiting on? Somebody may be waiting on a message or a document or some type of piece of paperwork. This could be about a marriage that has ended. Woo. Woo. I gotta make sure I'm covered, you know, because uh <laughs> oh. <laughs> never mind. Okay. Uh show me these lilies. Nine of Swords. Somebody here is worried about sending some type of message of love. Somebody may be losing sleep, staying up late at night. The Moon Reverse. Somebody's worried about some type of secrets coming out. Whatever is done in the dark, though, is going to come to the light. Somebody's literally worried. Somebody's fearful of something coming out. But it said these lit or these flowers, it was whatever 
if even if there's negativity around the star, yeah, it, it'll change anything from a negative to a positive. So I think somebody here is fearful of some type of secrets coming out, but maybe about an Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer. But there's hope. There's healing here of the star card. When secrets are revealed and released, um, that's when, you know, healing can start. So whatever somebody's fearing, I feel like it's unnecessary. I mean, I'm getting like it's a great fear over nothing or somebody's fearing something coming out, but it's going to come out inevitably. But it, ultimately, it's going to cause healing. So it's like somebody's worried about this coming out, but it's like you could sit here and hold on to whatever. I'm not saying it's you. It could be someone around you, whatever. But somebody's worried about some secrets coming out. But as long as these secrets are kept, there's pain. Okay? It's causing pain on you or someone else or themselves or whatever. Healing can be, you know, promoted. What is this hourglass? Seven of Cups. So there's confusion here surrounding options. Somebody may have a lot of options. This could be in love. doesn't have to be. But I feel like there's a lot of confusion going on here. That's why Spirit is saying take a deeper look. Take a, you know, you may have a lot of options. And that's why you need to, like, hourglass. Two of Wands. You have choices here. You have choices here. But you need to review them carefully. Okay? Seven of Cups, Two of Wands. You need to review them carefully with this hourglass. Pick the path that is best suited for you. I feel like you have options, but you need to review them carefully. I'm going to stop saying that. Let's go to the Owls. Seven of Swords in reverse. Ooh. Page of Swords. And Queen of Wands, there could be a fire sign or maybe even an air sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or maybe they have those placements in their chart, but this person's watching you. They're watching you be confident. Somebody here is very attractive and somebody here is getting caught up for some type of shady behavior. This is listen to your friends and your elders. Maybe somebody, this dude don't look happy. Person looks like a little vindictive, like fuck you up type energy. So somebody may be like, I know in some of my other decks, it's like the Page of Swords is like spying and admiration, but somebody's like spying and envy. At somebody who's very attractive. If you guys could see his face, it's hard to tell, but somebody here is getting caught up for their trickery, their thievery, their lies. What is the Seven of Swords reverse? We have two sevens here. There's a warning. Uh, the hair font reverse. Torn energy. This could be about a marriage. Oh, maybe that's why marriage ended. The lover's hair font reversed. And that's right below this marriage card reverse. Somebody got caught doing some shady shit. And that's why a marriage has ended here. Or some type of a contract or legal. Yeah. So what is this like? And the devil reverse because of somebody's toxicity. Somebody's trying to. Capricorn energy. Taurus is here. Somebody's trying to release some type of toxicities. What's the devil reverse? That page of swords and eight of swords again. Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus. Somebody here is feeling stuck, trapped in a mental prison. Like all they could do is spy, watch. Somebody may be watching somebody. Somebody's trying to like let go of something that kept them trapped and bound.
This is really weird. Okay, what is this? Eight of Swords. Six of Swords. Somebody's moving away from this. Yeah, they're trying to release something that kept them feeling stuck, trapped, and bound. Somebody here is deceitful, dishonest, a con, a liar, a thief. What is this? Judication, please. And I feel like it had to do with like a marriage that is coming to an end. Yeah, the lovers, Gemini energy. And the magician reversed and four of swords reversed. Wow. Somebody could be staying up at night doing fucking magic. I'm just going to say that, like for real, being fucking manipulative. Somebody here is not sleeping at night. I hope somebody's like not trying to like project into somebody's Dream state, Virgo, Gemini. Oh, okay. Education. Somebody may be like doing. Somebody's not healing because somebody keeps manipulating a situation, possibly via magic. Could be a Gemini or someone in a relationship. Somebody, somebody could have been married to this person, but they could be getting a divorce. Somebody could have gotten involved with somebody who was fucking evil. Okay. And they're trying to release themselves from this. This is what was keeping them stuck and bound. They're trying to travel. This person may be watching, spying, trying to gather more information on someone here. I don't know how you fit or whatever, but all right. And the world card reverse. Something has ended. Somebody doesn't want something to end. Somebody doesn't want a relationship to end. Somebody's trying to keep something open. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Show me pathway. Four of Swords. Somebody's trying to heal. Rest. Meditate. Get on their path. Okay. Somebody may be taking a break, not speaking. Staying to themselves. Staying quiet. Nine of Cups. And yeah, they're staying to the, and the Hermit. Staying to themselves. Going within. Somebody may come rushing towards you wanting to speak some type of truth. Could be a Virgo. Somebody sees you being happy, staying to yourself. Getting your wishes fulfilled. And I feel like it's pissing somebody off. Well, damn. Show me house in reverse. Hit that like button if this reading's resonating, y'all. Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, somebody's pissed the fuck off. Somebody's angry and it could be this air sign over here. I don't even know. Or Capricorn or Taurus. Gemini is here. Fixed sign energy. Virgo is here. Aquarius. Could be anybody. It doesn't even matter. But King of Wands. Somebody here. Somebody here is pissed off. They're, they're manipulative. With this Queen of Swords in the reverse. They're a liar. They abuse their power, their authority in, in some sense, okay? And the Knight of Wands, this person's a, a player. They're, you know, they come rushing in. They come into, they come into like fucking, ex, like, I don't know. Sorry, that truck was loud. See that volcano in the background? It's like they come in to blow shit up. Like they only rush in to fuck your shit up. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Could be an air sign, fire sign. Somebody with air and fire in their chart. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Tor uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person sees that you're healing and you're fucking happy. You're very wise beyond your years and it's pissing this person off. Nine of Swords, they want to rush in and communicate something to you. Come and blow some shit up by trying to manipulate a situation. Because they don't want a cycle to end a relationship or, you know, this could be, this person may have multiple suitors because we did have the seven of cups here, but I feel like that's your energy. Like somebody has a lot of options and they need to review those options to go to, to evaluate which direction do I go this way or do I go this way? Or say if you have, you know, seven different, uh, you know, ideas, okay, of what you want to do next. It's like evaluate which one would work best for you and then make the choice accordingly. Get more information. Ask your guides. I feel like they're urging you. Okay, and I did see the hangman, five of swords, yeah, and magician. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, somebody here is trying to fucking cause... Okay, whatever. You know what I feel like? I feel like somebody here may have married someone who was evil, toxic, whatever you want to call it, whatever word you like in your vocabulary. They married somebody for the wrong reasons, house in the reverse. There could be something going on in court or divorce, marriage in the reverse, separation. And I feel like whoever this manipulative person is over here, they don't want this to be over. But somebody's worried about some type of secrets coming out. There was a betrayal in the past, but I feel like you're going to be rewarded for that. Good karma, good will in the upright. If you were the one that was betrayed in the past, somebody's worried about secrets coming out. Maybe about an Aquarius or something. Or, you know, maybe you're the star, you're, you're healing. You could be a whistleblower as well, but I could see that. I mean, you speak truth. Whatever's happening here, I feel like it's divinely guided. It's meant to happen this way. But I feel like somebody is trying to get unstuck and there's somebody else that's like watching. Somebody was like in a relationship for the wrong reasons, possibly. Got involved with somebody who was very, like, this person could have been somebody in the government as well with this Queen of Swords in the reverse, but somebody who abuses their power and their authority. This person could be promiscuous. They could get around. They could be in and out, flighty, unreliable, mean, conniving, manipulative. Somebody may be ghosting somebody, and I feel like somebody's pissed off because somebody's like, Taking a break from somebody? I don't even know. But somebody's mad here. They don't want something to end with this world in the reverse. They don't want this they don't want this to end. But somebody here is lying, cheating, stealing, and there's a marriage that's ending because of somebody's toxicity. Somebody doesn't want to deal with this shit no more. Somebody don't want to deal with this shit anymore. They're moving away from this. But I feel like they felt stuck in some sort of sense. There could be an air sign child in the mix as well. Or somebody who's younger. I don't know. Somebody here is moving away from that situation. Somebody's about to be paid. Why is this person spying? Ace of Pentacles. They're spying because you have a new opportunity coming in. You could be moving, relocating. This could be a new home, a new car, a new beginning. And they don't want you moving forward. That's the truth. Ten of Wands. This person's heavily burdened. They're trying to keep you from having any positive movement forward or they're trying to keep you from traveling. They're trying to keep you feeling weighed down, burdened, all right? And that's the fucking truth. I asked why they're spying and we get the Ace of Pentacles because there's a brand new opportunity coming in. Ace of Swords, clarity, victory. Strong, holding back. Somebody may be holding back finances from you and they regret doing that, okay? They could be going through legal problems or legal, legal whatever's. Legal whatevers, okay. You're blocking this person, choosing to have a new beginning. And this is, you know, judgment. These cards just fell out of my hand. Two of Cups, King of Pentacles, and Judgment. Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may have a new relationship coming in or somebody here is wanting to come in and reconcile. Have some type of commitment where you can see eye to eye, want, want your forgiveness, wanting something stable, grounded. But I feel like it's because they see, I don't even know. If this, this could be someone new. I feel like there's somebody here who, who fucked up majorly, okay? I don't know how you're involved in this, but, uh, yeah. I don't know how you're involved. It's not for me to know. <laughs> it's not for me to know, eh? Let's get three cards, please. 
close this reading out. Can we get three cards, Spirit? This reading resonates, y'all. Hit that thumbs up button so it can get circulated out to other people who need to view this video. Just seen engagement ring on the bottom. We have soulmates, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract, coffin, endings bring new beginnings, growth change, liberation, and transition. So I, again, I feel like something may be ending here in Girl with the Snake. Yeah, somebody was dealing with, well, this is what, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed to use, enable boundaries. So again, I feel like somebody here is putting up boundaries. Somebody here is being a narcissist. Somebody got married for the wrong fucking reasons, but then, or they got into a commitment, a higher level of, of commitment or some type of a contract, but they did, they got, <laughs> shit. They got married to the devil. This is what they, they jumped into, this contract. Seven of Swords. They thought it was like high and mighty, but it was really attached to the damn devil. This could be somebody who does like um, voodoo as well, because the devil with the hair font, that's fucking voodoo, okay? I'm just saying, Seven of Swords. Somebody's being sneaky behind the scenes. When I did say something about magic or somebody who was doing some foul shit, trying to manipulate a situation, okay? Now somebody's trying to get out of this shit because somebody got caught up. Somebody was stuck in a situation. Whoop. And they're trying to move away from it. But again, there could be someone who's spying, okay? And someone feels stuck in this situation. Somebody, somebody was being a narcissist, and so they ended up attracting a narc. <laughs> okay, it's not funny. I shouldn't be laughing. But what goes around comes around, right? It's like somebody met their match. You jumped into something thinking you could get something out of it. A home, possibly, because the house is in the reverse. And something here is ending. Girl with the snake. You could have been dealing with a narcissist. Somebody here could be an empath. Very sensitive to energy. This could definitely be a soul, soul tie or a soul connection that you share with somebody. All right, but this person was... They needed to learn a lesson. I think. I think they might. Addiction. Somebody may have addictions as well. Or they're trying to like let go of some type of codependencies. All right, so that's what I got for you. If you like this reading, if it resonates in any way, please let me know. Smash the thumbs up button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.